I don't know why, but I always liked the style of VHS tapes. Maybe it's because it was reminiscent of the 90s. Maybe it's because I always watched them as a little kid. Or maybe it's the same reason why Instagram is popular. We love that look something has when it's old. Makes it a little bit more timeless. However, I'm unfortunate to say that all of the video that you're watching was not shot using a VHS tape. Neither was this one. Today, I'm going to show you how to do it in Final Cut Pro 10. So many of my videos that I produce here are very cinematic, but today I'm going to teach you how to take top-notch video and make it look like it came from a VHS tape. So I'm going to start this off by recording in 1920 by 1080p right here for you guys, and I'm going to show you step-by-step step how to convert this video into 480p VHS quality. Oh, by the way, by the time it gets to VHS quality, set your YouTube player to 240p. It actually raises the quality, if you can believe it. So anyway, you start off like this. Looks very nice, very clean. And what you want to do, first of all, is you want to get rid of all of this. Because widescreen video really didn't exist in VHS tapes. So go ahead and import it into Final Cut Pro. And what you're going to do is you are actually going to set your project properties to 480p. So that way you don't have to worry about any of this and it becomes like this. Next, what you're going to want to do is you are going to want to add some grain. This is just the basic add grain effect that you will find in Final Cut. You drag it in, you leave it as is. I find that the standard preset that comes on it works perfectly. Next, what you're going to do is you are going to want to add a Gaussian blur. Now for this, it's going to be set to default at 50 you are going to want to go into the effects settings and set it down to three. Another thing that I do, and this is a little bit more complex, so I will show you how to do it while I'm narrating, is what you want to do is you want to adjust the color a little bit. The color is always off in VHS, just a little bit. It's either a little bit too warm or a little bit too cool. For me, I usually go the route of making it a little bit cooler, so I add a little bit of blue in the overall color correction. Something I also do is I try and bring down the saturation in the darks, but I try and bring it up in the highlights and the midtones, so that way you get a little bit more saturation in the brighter colors and you get a little less saturation in the darker colors. Now sharpening up your image. This comes from the fact that when people would put out VHS tapes, they would often have technologies that would try and sharpen the image over the already existing kind of blurry image. This obviously would go usually just a little bit overboard. And this is what would give it that very defined look of everything having just a little bit too much sharpness added. And you have to have the sharpness on top of all of these other effects. It's just how it works and it makes it seem a little bit more real since it's trying to correct what is already in existence. You want to set this to about a 9.5 in the effect. And finally, you want to add the bad TV effect. This is going to give you those lines, a little bit of vibration, a little bit more color distortion, and it's going to look really nice. However though, when you put it in originally, it's going to be way too strong. I recommend bringing it down to an eight in the effect tab. So now you have something that looks like this. It looks really, really genuine. Now something that I figured out what you can do if you have audio in your video, go into the audio effects in Final Cut and actually bring over the car audio effect, the car radio effect. What you would do for this is you would actually bring it down to about 33 for talking and leave it at 50 for music. This I feel makes it so that way the music definitely sounds a lot more clear so it needs a little bit more of that effect. But voice, you don't want to get too distorted but you just want to make it sound like it's a little bit of an older tape. And something really cool if you want to go all the way, you can actually add any of these transitions where you get the lines, you make it look like it was a damaged tape or it's cutting off at points. This is a really great effect that can help sell the video. However though, these are not included in Final Cut Pro 10, but these are available at FinalCutProEffects.com. FCPEffects.com. 
www.ghostbusters.com. The link will be in the description below. You can actually get them there for really great prices. You can actually get bundles. I believe they're having a Father's Day sale that is still in effect where you can get up to, I believe, 80% off your entire order if you order 15 different effects, which is great. So anyway, that is how you make VHS style video in Final Cut Pro 10. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you guys did, make sure you leave a like in the description and comment if you have any other things you want to see here. So anyway, guys, I've been Connor Mitchell from the 90s, I suppose, and I will catch you guys at the next video, which will hopefully be in a little bit higher quality than this. Talk to you then.